Hello. What do you think of my new look? I've cut my dreads. <laughs> now this has been a, a very radical um, change for me. You know, I've been thinking about cutting my dreads and wanting to do it for months and months. But, you know, during that process of actually deciding to, to go ahead with it, three things kept going around in my head. So first of all, I knew that I wanted a new look. However, I didn't know, I didn't feel brave enough to actually go ahead with it. Secondly, I'd been growing my dreads for what, nine, ten years, and they were they were long. Um, and I didn't know whether how to have my hair any different. The last time I had my hair like this was when I was a child. So I didn't know at the time how I would adjust to a different way of um, managing and treating my hair. And then thirdly, I had a conversation a few weeks before I actually went ahead and did it. Um, I had a conversation with someone and she said, your children won't recognize you. And so one of the, the thoughts that kept going around in my mind was, what will people think? Now, this video isn't about hair. It's really about change. And what I'd like to share with you today, I'd like to share five lessons that I learned with undergoing this superficial change, which really apply um, as well to the more meaningful changes that we make in our lives. Now, the first lesson that I've learned is that change only happens when it's done. <laughs> so thinking about changing something makes absolutely no difference. Second lesson that I've learned is that change is hard. You know, even when you really, really want to change something in your life, that change is going to require something from you. It will require that you learn new skills or you exhibit different behaviors, different ways of being. And that's often not easy at all. The third thing that I learned is that, you know, even with drastic change, that today's change becomes tomorrow's normal. I, I think I'm pretty much getting used to this, this new look. Um, so sort of really what, what that means is don't let the fear of change stop you from making the kinds of changes that you know are necessary in your life because in no time at all those changes will feel pretty normal. Fourthly, change is pretty inspiring. You know, I've had quite a number of women come up to me and say, Oh, you did it. You cut your hair. I wish I could do that too. If only I felt brave enough. You know, you, you never know who you're inspiring by making significant changes in your life. So go ahead and make those changes because you could really be making a difference in somebody else's life as well. And then finally, you know, the changes that you make in your life, some people will like them, other people won't like them, and most people won't even notice. <laughs> uh, crazy but true. So all that really matters is making the changes that you know are necessary in your life and that you know are the right thing for you. So I hope that's been valuable for you. I'm glad that I've been able to share my, my new look and my change journey with you. Um, and really, I urge you to, to look at the changes that you are perhaps putting off in your own life and look at why you are putting those changes off and what would happen if you actually took the plunge and made them. Until next time, 
I hope that's been valuable. Bye-bye.